space, two dot space,
you and me. <laughs> so whom are you speaking? Whom? <laughs> The use of comma cannot be learned by rule. Such was the opinion of the great Sir Ernest Gowers. However, rules certainly exist for the comma, and we may as well examine some of them. The fun of commas is the semantic havoc they can create when either wrongly inserted. What is this thing called love? Or carelessly <laughs> omitted. He shot himself as a child. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a weird one. It's like he shot comma himself comma as a child, like. He, Bob, Bob, Bob did the shooting. He himself did the shooting. A friend of mine runs a Shakespeare reading group out of New England, tells a delightful story of a young chap who plays down in Macbeth. He listened with the appropriate pity and concern, while the wounded soldier in the act one gave his account of the battle. He cheerfully called out, Go! Get him, surgeons! <laughs> it's supposed to be. <laughs> Go get him, surgeons! <laughs> it's time to confess. For many years I've had an issue with this thing called the double possessive. It's one of the lesser known rules of the apostrophe. It simply jars me, and we see it all the time in the newspapers. <laughs> Elton John, friend of the footballers, said last night. Elton John, friend of the couples, said last night. Elton John, a friend of the Beckhams, said last night. Well, pass me the oxygen out and quit banging on my glitzy mates for a minute while I think a friend of the footballers. Shouldn't it be a friend of the footballer? Right, right, right. Doesn't the construction of the negate the use of the apostrophe of the bench? I mean to say, do those poor little Beckhams need to possess Elton John's wife? <laughs> <laughs> Woodrow Wilson once called the hyphen the most un-American thing in the world. <laughs> Note the hyphen is un-American. <laughs> Churchill once said that hyphens were a blemish to be avoided at all possible costs. And <laughs> There will always be a problem about getting rid of the hyphen if it's not extramarital sex with the hyphen. It is perhaps extramarital sex, which is quite a bunch of different poses. <laughs> <laughs> a reformed rock band is quite different from a reformed one. Yet likewise, a long-standing friend is quite different than a long-standing one. There are more. uses of the ellipses are quite specific and very few. One, to indicate words missing from a quoted passage. Or two, to trail off in an intriguing manner. <laughs> 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 <laughs>